Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. It's Becca from At Home in the Sun, and today I am back for another cash stuffing for our June 30th paycheck. Today we're gonna be stuffing a total of $1,200, $1,120 in cash, and $80 in digital funds. We're also gonna be doing an envelope swap today. You guys, I cannot stop making new envelopes. I'm a little bit obsessed right now with the peekaboo style. So I made some new peekaboo style envelopes to go in um, this binder right here. So we're gonna be swapping these out today. They are super, super cute. And we're gonna go ahead and get started with our cash stuffing. So let's go ahead and get our money set up. I just came from the bank. It is pouring outside. It just started raining and thundering and lightning. We got back from the bank just before it started downpouring. So I hope this video is not too dark. I usually try to brighten it up a little bit when I'm editing, um, but it is really, really dark right now. All right, so should, we should have a total of $1,120 in cash. Let's go ahead and count that. One, two, three, four, five, 600, 650, 670, 690, 710, 30, 50, 70, 90, 810, 830, 850, 870, 890, 910, 930, 950, 970, 980, 990, 1,000, 1,000, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, and 1,100, um, 10, 15, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is $1,120. Let's get everything set up. How are you guys doing? I hope everybody has had a good week so far. I hope you had a really good month of June. June was good for us. Um, it was a little bit of a roller coaster towards the end of the month. Um, I'm not gonna elaborate on that, but you know, that's how life is. A little bit of a roller coaster sometimes. Um, so I'm really optimistic though that July is gonna be really good. It's gonna be really busy for us. Um, I'm planning on sewing a lot in July. I do have a sewing shop, an online sewing shop that I've had for um, almost 10 years. And so I'm planning on doing a lot of sewing in July. I, we're also gonna be traveling in July to see family. And um, my kids are finishing up school this week. We do homeschool and we do homeschool year round, but we're gonna be taking July off and half of August off. Um, I, I'm also starting a new job in August and so the month of July, I do have to be preparing for my new job because it is teaching. So I'm gonna be doing lesson plans and stuff like that. So July is gonna be super busy, but I'm really excited about everything that we have to do in July. So if you guys are traveling or doing anything fun this summer, let me know in the comments. All right guys, so today we're gonna to be stuffing both of my high priority binders and my low priority binder. I'm gonna be doing my savings challenges in a separate video and that video will be out in just a few days. So let's go ahead and get started. And with this binder, I'm gonna be switching out the envelopes as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up so we can do that as well. Okay, so groceries is first. I did have some rollover from last week. So I had a $16 in rollover. I was so surprised because, you know, prices have been fluctuating. They've been all over the place. And I was really surprised that um, we had that much rollover from groceries. Something is going on here with this. This is stuck in here. Okay, this elastic was actually stuck in this envelope, so I have to get that out. All right, so groceries, we had a $16 um, dollar rollover, so we're going to be adding $300 for the next two weeks, so we stuff for two weeks at a time, about $150 um, every week, so groceries is at $300 and $16. I'm gonna keep that rollover in there just in case. Let's see how our new envelopes look. I love these peekaboo envelopes. I'm really kind of obsessed with them right now. I was so happy when I was designing them and making them. They look so cute, you guys. And the back is um, clear. Somebody did ask me for a tutorial about um, how to make these, and so I'm thinking about doing that maybe in the next month, July. Like I said, it's gonna be really busy, but um, I'll see if I can swing a tutorial on these. Um, if you didn't check out my last tutorial, I did a tutorial on how to make these um, clear cash envelopes with the pressed flowers. So check that out if you would like to make those. 
All right, so spending is going to be getting $20. Take this out, grab a 20. I am saving for um, like some new clothes for my new job. So that's what this money is gonna be for. 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. So we already got 50 bucks in there. I was trying to pick out some things on Amazon. Um, that's so cute. Some things on Amazon um, that might be like good for work, like things that are comfy, but still look, you know, professional. So we'll see what I can find. Kids is not gonna be getting stuff today. They're good on this. So let's just switch out our envelopes and kids is at 50, 70, 80, and $90. This is for anything that, that my gray kids need. Okay, and Next is pets. So what I decided to do with pets, I did make a pet envelope for our um, two Frenchies and we have um, eight chickens as well. And I decided to make a additional envelope um, for pets, which is vet visits. Um, Cause you know, you have to plan for those basically. So I know that my two dogs have their yearly visit coming up in the next, I don't know, two to three months. And you know, vets are like really expensive. And also I wanna build up this vet visit envelope just for any kind of like emergencies as well that we need to take them to the vet. Um, so that's what that is gonna be for. So what I'm gonna do for this, I'm gonna add a hundred dollars, but I'm gonna split it into fifties. So I'm gonna add a 50 to the pet envelope and this covers like food and treats and bedding for the chickens and you know, anything like that. And I'm gonna add this 50 to vet visits so we'll start saving for that oh my goodness you guys i had to buy dog food yesterday and it is so expensive it was 90 dollars 90 dollars for a 33 pound bag of dog food and it's absolutely ridiculous when we started buying that brand we did a lot of research and you know it was like a really good brand and i think it was like 60 bucks for a 33 pound bag and now it's 90 dollars and I don't know if we're gonna keep them on that food. I mean, it is really good and we want to get them good food, but it is very expensive. So we're gonna see how that goes. So let's put pets in and then vet visits. Okay, so household is next. So household is gonna be getting $30. So we have 20 in there. So let's add another 30. This is for household items. I think I'm gonna have to take a little bit out of this. Um, my Amazon subscribe and save order just hit and uh, I need to pull some money um, for some of the things that I got from my Amazon order. So like we do subscribe and save like once a month and it's like household things and usually like some supplements and vitamins and stuff like that. So I do need to pull cash out for that. Okay, so our next category is food forest and we're gonna be switching out this envelope for this one. So food forest is gonna be getting $40. Our food forest is doing pretty well. Um, we just got, we've been getting some like passion fruits. Um, it is still like a young plant, so it's not like producing like crazy right now. And a lot of the fruit is um, not really edible yet until the plant gets more mature, but we're getting lots of passion fruits. We got one today. It finally was ripe enough for us to eat and it was really good. It's like the first really good one we've got. We have avocado that's almost done. We've got two little tiny peaches and we had some little tiny apples. And um, um, so it's just been really exciting watching everything grow. And we have a huge bed full of um, sweet potatoes and you know lots of other things growing. So it's been really exciting watching all of that. All right, so let's go ahead and pop these in and I'm gonna go ahead and close this up. All right, so my health digital envelope, uh, this money stays in the bank and I just transfer it, transfer it to where I want it to go after our paycheck hits. So health, um, basically this $100 that was in there, we're down to zero because um, with that Amazon subscribe and save order, um, that basically took everything that was in health. So we're gonna be adding back $50 today. So plus 50, so we are at $50. And beauty as well got drained down to zero and we're gonna be adding back 
$20. So we are at 20 for beauty. All right, we are done with this. And um, I didn't mention before, like um, we have multiple banks, but um, the one that I keep most of our money in is Ally, is, which is an online bank. And I really, really love Ally. Um, our interest rate for our savings account just went up again. It's gone up about four times, I think. So now it's up to 1.0% um, APY. So I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna be doing um, an unstuffing really soon. I'm gonna take as much money out of my sinking funds as possible and put it into our savings. Um, Ally is really cool because they, it's like really um, cash uh, stuffing friendly because they have uh, buckets, what they call buckets, which is basically digital cash envelopes. So you can put all of your savings into a specific bucket. So it's like exactly what we do here, just digitally. So, so for this binder, this is also high priority. So let's get into this one. This one also has peekaboo envelopes. All right, so homeschool is gonna be getting $10. We are a homeschooling family. So homeschool is at 50, 70, 90, 100, and 110 for homeschool. This covers supplies or any straining hours that we need to purchase. All right, co-op is gonna be getting 135. So this is saving up for my kids' first month of tuition at our homeschool co-op that we're gonna be starting in August. We're really excited about that. So this is gonna be getting 135. So 120. 30 and five. So we are at 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 450, 470, 480, 490, and 495 for co-op. Okay, curriculum is gonna be getting $20. I did buy most of our curriculum for next year already. There's still a little bit left that I need to buy. So curriculum is at 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, $210. So this should be plenty to cover the rest that I need to get. So then we'll just start saving for the next year. All right, car maintenance is gonna be getting $30. We have $200 in the bank. So 20 and 30. So car maintenance is at 200, 220, 40, 60, 70, whoops. 80 and 85, 285 in car maintenance. Life insurance is gonna be getting its usual $5. This one is already fully funded. I pay it every six months. This one is for me. So my plan is to get you know more ahead on it. Um, so this is not due till August, but um, I would like to get like another six months ahead on it if possible. So life insurance is at 20, 40, 60, 70, 73 dollars. Lot tax is for property tax for um, the second lot that we own right next door with our food forest. So lot tax is gonna be getting $35 today. So 20, 30, So lot tax, we have $200 in the bank, 200, 300, 400, 420, 40, 60, 80, 500. I need a placeholder for that. Um, I'm gonna do that in a, uh, a video coming up soon. I'm gonna be doing unstuffing and like replacing the money with placeholders because I need this money to get back in the bank as soon as possible. Okay, I lost track of what I was counting. So 200, 300, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 520, 30, 40, 45, and 48, $548 in lot tax. That's awesome. This is um, due, I think, in like October or November. So we're doing really well on that. Gifts is gonna be getting $20. So gifts is at 20, 40, 65, $65 for gifts. Okay, and for my subscriptions, digital envelope, it is thundering like crazy. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I'm looking out the window, there's like this really dark cloud <laughs> and it's thundering and lightning a lot. But the rain stopped, so. Okay, so subscription is gonna be getting 
$10. This is for um, our yearly subscriptions. Any like monthly subscriptions like Netflix or something, that just comes out of our bills. But we do save um, for our yearly subscriptions. So that is at $184 and we are done with this binder. So now we're gonna be moving on to my low priority binder here. So entertainment's gonna be getting $20. It is empty. Vacation is going to be getting $10. This will be covering our um, traveling next month when we go see um, our family out of state. So vacation, let's see what our placeholders are. So we have 500, 600, 700 in the bank. 800, 900, 950, 970, 980, 985, 988. So we're almost to um, 1,000. So that is amazing. I'm feeling really good about, we have plenty of money to um, go see my family. And we're not doing um, trackers right now. You and Me is gonna be getting $10. And this is for date night with my husband and I. So we're at $160 for You and Me. Thanksgiving is gonna be getting $30. We always host. All right, so 20 and 30. Okay, so Thanksgiving is at 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, and $160. For Thanksgiving, our goal is 400. So we're doing really well on that. Okay, next is self-care. We're not stopping that right now. And the special events is gonna be getting 30. We drained this, it's empty. Um, we used everything that was in there for Father's Day. So we're just gonna add another 30. And start saving for the next special event, which is I think a birthday. So yeah, we'll start saving for that. Okay, so we are done. I'm going to be doing my savings challenges in my next video. So let's see how much money that we have to stuff in our savings challenges. So let's go ahead and count that. So we have 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, so we will be stuffing a total of $275 into our savings challenges. You guys, keep your eyes out for that video. It will be posted in just a few days. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys.